So one of the great things about 3D printing is you can take things, design them on a computer, and then make them to be used in the real world. But if you want to do that, you've got to be able to make really good measurements so that the things you make on the screen actually come out the size you want them to be. And my favorite tool for making these kinds of measurements are called calipers. So I've got two different kinds of calipers here. One is uh, digital, the other is analog. But they both work about the same way. They're not terribly expensive. I'm going to turn on my uh, digital calipers here and you can see I can set the measurements to be in inches or millimeters. I can uh, also on most of them change them to do fractions of inches and, uh, and things like that. Uh, when you start off with your calipers you want to keep them closed and zero them to make sure this number is zero to start with. And then you've got uh, basically three different ways you can measure things. So the most obvious is you can put these uh, jaws around something and measure it. So if you wanted, for example, to design a ring in Tinkercad uh, for yourself, you could put this around your finger where you'd want the ring to go, or probably at the widest part of your finger, and see how big that is. In this case, uh, 22.0 millimeters. So that's pretty nice. Let's measure uh, one of the projects we've got for the Cliff Valley 3D club. Put the jaws around this and that comes out right at 50 millimeters, just like it's supposed to. But what if I want to measure the inside of this box? That's where these outside jaws come in. I can put this inside the box, pull this out all the way, and that comes out at 45 and a half, which is just about what I would expect. There's one more dimension. Uh, that I want to measure here. What if I want to measure the inside of this box? So it's pretty easy to do the, the outside this direction, but on the inside that's a little harder. That's where this end of it comes out. And all you need to do is put the bottom all the way in and push it down so that this is resting right on the edge. And that'll give you the measurement, in this case, just shy of uh, 44 millimeters. And that's really easy to, to do. That's all there is to it. You can measure all those three dimensions. The uh, plastic analog calipers look a little bit harder, but they really work the same way. You can still use the jaws for measuring the outside of something, the jaws for measuring the inside, and uh, the posts for measuring depth. What makes these look a little bit trickier is this what's called a uh, vernier scale. So you can see your main measurement is going to be where the zero is. So if I had something that was going to be 10 millimeters, it would come up right here. And I notice this is divided into centimeters first. And of course you'll know there's 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So if something is exactly 10 millimeters, you'll see this lines up just perfectly in the mark. But what if it's like 10 and a half or 10 and just a bit more? Then what you do is you look at this bottom row that's still 10 millimeters plus, and you'll look for the number down here and see where it measures up on the bottom exactly with a hash mark on the top. So in this case, I think uh, this five measures up exactly with one of these hash marks. So that would be 10.5 millimeters. And if you don't need uh, that extra bit of accuracy, you can just call that 10 millimeters and it's going to be close enough for most purposes but if you want to get really accurate with these these will go down to five hundredths of a millimeter and once you get a little practice with these they're really not difficult to use so I recommend you get used to using the calipers and then you'll be able to measure things that you make so that they're just the right size to use out in the real world